And we're talking uh, energy prices with the energy minister, Michael Fallon, uh, because the, the energy company SSE uh, has announced it's putting up gas and electricity prices. Uh, the average here is, is uh, an eye-popping minister, 8.2%, uh, and not much notice in this 15th of November this comes into force. No, that's, it's disappointing news this morning, and it's for the company to justify a, a big increase of that kind. But we're already taking action to, to place the most vulnerable customers on the lowest tariffs. And I would encourage anybody uh, to, uh, watching this to look now at their, their gas bill and to ensure that they are on the best tariffs to see whether they, at the end of their term, they can switch to something cheaper. Yeah, but, but more appealing to people is what Ed Miliband said a couple of weeks ago. He's gonna, if he gets into power, he's going to freeze all this. Well, he's already admitted that that's unworkable because part of the price of gas is the international wholesale price of gas. And if you had a freeze, it would simply go up before the freeze and go up afterwards. So that's simply a gimmick. The best answer here is to simplify the tariff structure, which we're doing, to get the most vulnerable people onto the cheapest tariffs and to encourage more people to shop well, around. Do you know what? One of the things they're doing is they're pointing the finger at you. They're saying one of the reasons they are having to put their prices up is your obsession with green levies. No, there's a small amount added to each bill to help protect the most vulnerable, to help keep their, warms this, uh, their homes warm this winter, and that's extremely important. But the bulk of this is from the energy companies, and it's for them to justify... Yeah, yeah but, OK, okay but you say a small amount. How, 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 much, how much is actually added to our bills as a result of government policies? Well, to, for energy efficiency and to help keep homes warm for the most vulnerable, there's only 4 or 5% of your bill goes on that. It's a very small uh, uh, piece on top of it. But it's the half bulk of, of this point is for two, the companies which... to justify. Four, four or five percent. OK, well, people will be able to judge on that. Isn't the truth at the end of the day, um, you're a wee bit panicked about all of this because it's making Ed Miliband look very, very good? No, it's a gimmick. He's already admitted it can't work. The best answer to this is more competition and to make it easier for people to switch from tariff to tariff and to get the most vulnerable people on the lowest tariff possible. And that's what we're doing now. You don't have to wait two or three years for some gimmick that Labour can't actually deliver. Minister, what would you say to uh, Scottish and Southern Electricity? Because you, you know what, they're, they're, listening in, they're listening in on this. We've got Tony Keeling, he's the Director of Customer Services at SSE. And you know and I know they will not have done this in isolation because all their mates and all the other companies will follow suit on this. What would you say to SSE? Well, I'd say I'm disappointed. And I'd say it's, it's for them now to justify an increase of this kind, way ahead of inflation, to justify it to their customers. And it's for them to try and keep their customers. OK. We're making it easier for people to switch. And people should now consider whether they can move to a cheaper tariff. Mm, but then they'll all put them up. Tony Keeling, justify it to me. Justify it to the minister there. How much has he and his government to blame for what you're having to do or I doing? Think the key thing I think the key thing I'd say is that we really regret the fact that we're having to put our prices up. We've tried to hold off as long as we can do, and we've tried to keep the increase as small as we can do. But the fact is that there are three main reasons why prices are having to go up. Which are? Uh, the energy that we buy in a global market is uh, increasing its 4% higher this winter than last winter. The cost of getting energy to our homes has gone up 10% in the last 12 months. And in the government schemes, there are about 10% of everyone's bill is effectively extra tax on top of the VAT. 10%, oh, just up there, just up there, Minister. You just said to me it was uh, 4%. He's saying 10%. Oh, come on, let's get this turned up. Somebody well, four, put a... 4 or 5% um, to help energy efficiency and invest in the future, and then another amount to help protect the most vulnerable, which I think everybody would like to, to see So done, what, it is 10% then? keep the, to keep the elderly warm. It is 10%. It's uh, the, total. the total. The total is just under 10 Well, Minister, that's not what you said to me. You said there was only 4% involved in all of this. No, so he has me, got a point. You asked me first about energy efficiency. I asked you what your contribution was to that bill, and you said 4%. He's telling me it's 10%. Well, let me just correct you. The, uh, the, there is an amount that goes on energy efficiency, and there's another amount it's that goes on It's 10%. It's 10%. 10% we're at, of our bill is because of government policy, yes or no? Just under 10%. Whoa, right. Just We've got a different point. picture there. And is, that, okay. and, and is that really necessary, Tony Keeling, in your view? I think the, the schemes themselves are good schemes. We think it should be paid for through general taxation. We think it should be paid for in that way so it's targeted at people that can afford to pay it. At the moment, it's a blanket charge to everybody, and some people can't afford that. 
Um, and that, those schemes are going up 13% in the no, last 12 months. No, no Tony Keeling, um, the Minister is saying uh, he's encouraging people to shop around. People should shop around if they don't like the fact that you're hyping things by 8.2%. There are options. Uh, isn't the truth that there aren't really options because the other companies are going to follow suit with you guys and you're all going to be very much of a muchness? I think the market's very competitive. There's over 20 supply companies. Um, there's a whole range of products that people can buy. Um, and people do switch around and they do get a good deal. I think you've got to look at the price you pay, you've got to look at the service that you get, you've got to look at the advice you get from your company as well. So if um, you, were, if you were a customer of Scottish and Southern and uh, come November your bill's going to go up by 8.2%, uh, would you blame them for, for switching to another company? Would you switch to another company? I think it's really important that people understand why the prices are going up and many companies would you are switch? the same issues. Would you switch? Would you stick with you guys? Would you say we're value for money? I personally would, but I would look at doing a lot of things, actually. I'd look at how I'm managing my account. You can save £92 a year by paying by direct debit and getting your bills online. You can save hundreds of pounds through energy efficiency measures that you can do. And one of the things I'd like to say today is that there are a lot of people that are going to be genuinely worried about how they're going to pay for their bills this winter. There are a lot of things that we can do, and if customers give us a call on 08000 727 222, there's a lot we could actually do to help customers yeah. in that situation. We're going uh, to charge you a lot more money, but you know what? We'll make it easier. We'll take it from you bit by bit. You know, that would be a big uh, benefit, I think, to people. That would be a lot of comfort um, to them. What would you say to the minister to help you to do your job? Is there anything more that he, can, he could do to help you? I think, I think the motivation behind all the schemes that are on the bill are good. I think it should be moved off of the bill. That will save people over £110 a year off their bill straight away and do it through general taxation and then target the people that can afford it and then actually look after and support the people that are going to be struggling. There are a lot, I would stress though, there is a lot that customers can do if they get in touch with us. Uh, okay. For example, there's a warm home discount that can save £135 a year. No, they, no, they just prefer business. if you didn't put it up in the first place. That's the best thing you could do for them. Uh, but, but Minister, Tony Keeling, thank you very much indeed. Tony Keeling is the Director of Customer Services, and there he was trying to uh, be very serviceable to his customers there with, with that advice. Let us know what you think of his advice this morning. Minister, final word to you. Well, there, there you heard it. It, it, it's, it should be easier to, to switch. People should look at the tariffs that they're on. Not enough people switch at the moment. Only, uh, only I think, uh, 17 or 18 per cent of people switch each uh, year. So we do encourage more people to switch. We're making the tariffs simpler and we're putting the most vulnerable people on the lowest tariffs. But the real answer here is more competition. And I'd like to see more competition in this market.